And now to the latest on the Whitey Bulger trial. The prosecution resting its case, but not before doing a little show and tell in court. The jurors got a close look at a number of guns and cash found in Whitey's California hideout. On Monday, the defense will begin its case. An attorney seemed to suggest this trial could actually be coming to an end sooner than expected. Stunning video. A car traveling at high speed slams into a telephone pole. Watch again. You can see the driver ejected on impact. That young man is still hospitalized. We do not know the extent of his injuries. Police are still investigating, but say speeding will be one of the charges filed. In Chelmsford, Janet Wu, 7 News. This morning, investigators are on the ground at San Francisco International Airport, carefully examining that wreckage. And that's also where we find CNN's Paul Verkhamen. Paul, how long has the investigative team been there now? And what can you tell us about their work? Well, they've been here for a few hours now. There was not a lot of fuel on board. That's why we did not have, Janet, an absolutely massive fireball. All right, Paul, we've been hearing some passenger interviews, and so far we've been hearing that no one got any kind of warning from the cockpit. Is that also what you've been hearing? Yes, we've been hearing that as well. All three pilots did survive, and I, we know they are veterans. One last question, Paul. You've been with us very early since this morning, and how is the airport now? I know that you said you already saw some traffic picking up there. We have passengers stranded here in Boston still. I tell you, the gloomy weather right now really matches the mood in this town. This is a place where there are no strangers. Amy was loved and admired, and there is as much disbelief as sadness and anger over this loss. Our top story this morning, new questions. If the person of interest in the Amy Lord murder case should have been arrested months ago. Edwin Alemany is in jail this morning as investigators await DNA results. He is accused of two other violent attacks on women in that same neighborhood. The Cleveland man who held three women captive for a decade is agreeing to a plea deal that will spare him the death penalty but keep him behind bars for life. On Friday, Ariel Castro pleaded guilty to 937 counts. Three brothers from South Florida are on a million dollar mission. That's their fundraising goal to help the survivors of the Boston Marathon bombings. Now, one of the boys has another connection to some of the most severely injured. A rare disease caused him to lose all his limbs. But now a few years later, he hopes his struggles will inspire and comfort the survivors.